When I came to Missouri from West Texas, I expected to find boring layer cake geology, but I was so excited to find that that is not the case. I was blown away by the St. Francis Mountains. They are a gorgeous place to find exposures of 1.4 billion year old rhyolites. And they have old mines in them and they host iron deposits. And for that reason, they became my home. While earning my master's at Missouri s and I was able to take a wide range of classes, including granites and rhyolites, mining economics, and electron microscopy. Once I began graduate school at Missouri s and I had two great internships. One with Doe Run Mining Company, a world-class lead deposit, and the second with Missouri Geological Survey, where I eventually began my career. At Missouri s and you're surrounded by like-minded individuals who value education and knowledge. I often jokingly say, the nerdier you are, the cooler you are. I like that all my professors know me by name. I also like that they make time for me despite our equally busy schedules. For my specific program in petroleum engineering, I liked that the curriculum had incorporated more geology than that of other universities that I had considered. One of our classes utilizes reverse classroom learning style. This helps to improve team building skills. Yes, ma'am. Do you mind if we take a look at what your team has done so far? Absolutely. Okay, great. Missouri s and also has a long tradition in the field of paleontology, which is my specialty. In 1914, Josiah Bridge who was then a professor at Missouri School of Mines, introduced the field of micropaleontology to academia for the first time. That tradition continues today. Paleontology and sedimentology bring in a lot of bearing and information to every other aspect of geology. Also Even more of the yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. In order to understand complex geologic structures like the folds you see behind me, Dr. Eckert and I created a Structure and Geomechanics Task Force. This task force brings together diverse groups of scientists and engineers, each with their own expertise. The geologists coming out into the field and collecting the structural data that they need to model with sophisticated numerical models on the computer. And the engineers doing this modeling get together with the structural geologists and we can understand the origin of these folds. One thing I really like about s and is our small class size. It gives me more one-on-one -on -one time with professors, and our small class size translates to a smaller department size, which gives us a really tight-knit department together. There's success because your friends here have helped you prepare. Today, we'll be acquiring data using unmanned aerial vehicles. My research is groundwater resource exploration to collect photogrammetry data to locate optimal water well drilling locations in post-Civil War Uganda. Geological engineering is very much humanitarian in nature. The Geological Engineering Department offers several emphases, be it geotechnical, natural hazards, environmental remediation, or remote sensing. One of the unique features of the petroleum engineering undergraduate and graduate programs here at Missouri s and is a mechanical earth modeling emphasis. No other petroleum program in the country has that emphasis. Students learn how to understand the state of stress in the reservoir and in the wellbore and how that affects drilling operations, fracturing, injection, and other things we do as petroleum engineers. And many of our students choose to take one more geology class and get a minor in geology. One of the things that I learned in my 25 years of private sector experience was that clients usually engage you to solve a problem. My emphasis in my teaching is on problem solving, how we use analogs in the real world, how we use history, how we use interviews and literature searches to learn how people have solved problems in the past before we formulate the potential solutions for the future. Isn't that cool? That actually gets more blood to your head so you can think better on your algebra questions. The geophysics group at Missouri ST emphasizes the combination of geology, physics, mathematics, and computer science to explore the Earth. We image the structure of the Earth's deep interior using elastic waves produced by earthquakes and artificial sources, and conduct research projects and offer courses in the area of exploration and theoretical geophysics. 
We apply geophysical techniques for locating oil, gas, and minerals, as well as finding objects or substances to protect the environment. As a recruiter for Southwestern Energy, we look to a lot of campuses to find interns and full-time positions. At Southwestern Energy, we hire Missouri S&T graduates because we know that we will be getting a well-rounded candidate. One of the things that sets them apart is an artificial lift class that is taught by industry professionals that gives a real-life representation of what they can kind of expect in the industry. Another unique aspect to the petroleum curriculum here is the amount of geology that's incorporated into the regular classes, which a lot of other universities don't do. Knowing the origination of the oil and gas ultimately leads to a better petroleum engineer.